I'm very worried about my parents. Um, I haven't been able to see them after they came back from this cruise. And all I want to do is hug mum and dad. On March 19, 2,700 passengers were allowed to disembark off the Ruby Princess cruise ship in Sydney. They were herded off the Ruby Princess like cattle. Passports were not checked, ID cards were not checked. It was a disastrous oversight by New South Wales Health that caused over 440 people to become infected with the coronavirus. That's over 10% of the total cases in Australia. Those people came off the cruise with no knowledge of COVID actually being on their ship. In an email exchange with Princess Cruises the day before the ship docked, we have a ship full of healthy guests and healthy crew. There are no coronavirus cases on board. Passengers have additionally laid the blame on Carnival Cruises, owners of the Ruby Princess. I definitely think they should have had more screening when we got off the boat. Yeah, there was no health checks. They just, we handed them our form we had to fill out as we went past and that was it. The Ruby Princess also accounts for the equal biggest number of fatalities, with five of its passengers having died since the ship docked more than two weeks ago. It's a move considered one of the biggest debacles Australia has made in the fight against COVID-19. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has since banned all cruise ships from docking anywhere in New South Wales. We will continue to show humanitarian care to those individuals who need it. We will continue to allow them to have fuel and food but it is time to go to your port of origin. This delayed measure still leaves more than 1,000 staff aboard the now abandoned Ruby Princess, fearing what's to come and left with limited medical support.